Hello, and welcome to Heroes of the Storm. Today, we're playing some Unranked Draft. Um, it's probably not going to be very fun. I'm just, every day that I play this game, like, it becomes less fun. Just, just being honest. The majority of the games I play are losses. Why? Because I seem to be, like, the most unlucky person in this game. Like, I watch... I watch Kyberries, I watch Starbees, I watch MF Pally Time, sometimes I watch Trixler. I never see toxic people in their games. Ever. But they're like in every single one of mine. I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, like for me to get the two videos a day, I have to probably record 12 videos. And throw out. Ten of them. Because I don't want to... I don't want to do it with the, the toxic people. I just... Uh, it's not fun. I just... I just feel so unlucky because of it. Because they're just... They're, it feels like they're everywhere. But then I go and I watch these other people. And they don't get any. They get none of it. I don't get it. See, here we go. It's already starting. This is how it starts. This is how it starts. It starts small. It starts out small. And then it just blows the fuck up. And somebody quits. I stand ready. Okay, I think he handled that well. I think he handled it well. Except he's not the guy the guy was talking to. He was mad because this guy banned the Zildjian. Uh-oh, there we go. And here it goes. Here it starts. Well, yeah, whatever. Let's um move along with this draft. So far in the draft, Dahaka, Zuljin, Alex Straza, and Malganis have been banned. Vala was picked up by the friendly team. Lunara and Lucio were locked in by the enemy team. And the next two picks go to the friendly team, who lock in we with a variant. A great destiny. And a... I almost said Crunkrat. He was showing Chromie for his... Ah, uh, Junkrat. This is Junkrat, though. Uh, next ban goes to the enemy team. Vala's not better. Vala's a trap. And when I say that, I mean she has a dick. No, I mean she's a trap as in... She has, like, the lowest health pool in the fucking game. Or one of them. Uh, anyway, enemy team bans out white main. Last ban of the draft goes to the friendly team. And we ban out Johanna. Next two picks go to the enemy team. They lock in Kael'thas and Anubarak. Alright, last two picks for our team, and it looks like I have to heal. Um, Uh, I'm gonna play Tehran because I feel like it. I heed the voice of Elun. The last pick of the draft goes to the enemy team. And they lock in with a Muradin. Nice. Like if Vala steps up too hard and gets punished, I am not gonna dump both heals on her. Not gonna do it. It's not worth. She'll die. She'll die anyway, and I'll have wasted both of my heals, which I could use to save someone else, so. Alright, place your bets. How long into the match before someone starts feeding? Shut up, fucking Gazlo wannabe. Gazlo wannabe, right there. I'm gonna type that. Battle commencing in yeah, ten one seconds. Five, four, three, 
four, three, two, one. Let the battle begin. All right, what are we going here? They have a lot of uh, stun silences and slows, so we'll get that. That should help. Not so much silences, but stuns and slows. That's it, you get one heal, that's it. Where is the crowd control at on these guys? Like, it really feels like we're just letting them, like, walk into us. Because we probably are. Let us make haste. In the name of Elun. I'm gonna head down... Here, somebody help me. Somebody. The goddess's wrath descends. I elude. They will show There we go. Screwed our camp. For calendar. I didn't I don't know why I thought that was someone else and not Kalethos. But I did. <laughs> I really did. I don't know who I thought it was, but I thought it was someone. I'm on my way up here, I'll give you some healing there, Mr. Buddy. Choose a talent. Good pickup right there. He didn't even really need me for it. He could have done that on his own. Nope, bad pickup down in the bot lane. But we already took our camp down there, so we're okay. Yeah, double up the armor loss right there on that guy. Yeah, I can just bully Lunara 1v1. That's no big deal. Uh, I gotta keep an eye on the thing. If they try to channel it, I can send an owl. Alright, I'm gonna send an owl down there. See if I can catch... Oh, he blocked it! That would've actually hit. I'm pretty sure that would've actually hit. If it didn't get blocked. Tried to get another heal on that dude. Dude, back off. Let us make it. Help me with this. For Kalashu's attack. With haste. I can hear Varian in the mid lane from here. That's crazy. That's funny. Why can I hear that? It's weird. Yes, of course. 
Alright, uh, camp secured. Let's get the target ally healing. And that'll be the heal that I probably put on Vala most of the time, is the, uh, select an ally heal. Most likely. Where is my team? I don't know where they are. Where the hell is my team? I'm dead. Thanks, Vala. Your killing spree has ended. Killing spree. Okay. I won't do it again. Vala gets no more healing. <laughs> Is what Vala gets. Get him! There we go. Nice, nice. Nice! Do we go Starfall or Shadow Stalk? I really want to go Starfall. I really do. Uh, but I think I'm gonna go Shadow Stalk. Just to be safe. I'm going straight for our camp. Putting a big focus on this bot lane here. Um, I'd like to take the enemy camp and invade that as well, but... We can't really do that. We sh I mean, we could. But, like, I really want to keep a focus on this bot lane here. So we know we're, uh... Just so we know we're getting pressure down here, and we can use this... You can use this lane to, um, force a boss take. Later on, if you- if you're- if you're good about it. Um, you can force the boss to kind of fall into your hands. We're gonna mark him for the bonus damage, and he's toast. Variant. I tried. And we blew up Muradin. With our stun there, and we'll give Stitches some healing. I tried to save Varian, I didn't- I just- I don't have the, um, the spell armor. If I had the spell armor, he lived, but I don't. I have the anti-stuns and slows here. Alright, time to head to the bot lane. Looks like the enemy team's trying to jump on me. Get a little poke in. Go ahead and use our Shadow Stalk there, get some healing out to everybody, and I think we're golden. Uh, let's get... I think we get the move speed here. That'll help. It'll help Varian 
Uh, it'll help Vala to escape. It'll help Junkrat to escape. Yeah, we did that very very nicely. It was a little bit crazy, uh, but we did fine. Uh, how long in our camp? Seven. Oh, I hope they're not dying. Almost. Almost had the connection on that. Let's check their camp. Nobody's doing it. We should take it. Trying to give a heal to Vala, she's too far away from me. Can't get to her. The altars will be yes. Nice. We'll go ahead and use our shadow walk there. And head on down here. Let's um take their camp. I can stall this, I think. Never mind. They're chasing me. Uh, let's see. Owl. Oh, I missed it! I missed the fucking owl. We've got the mark on our Vala here for a little bit. There we go. Let's kill their building. Heroes, I have opened a tunnel near our core that leads to the battleground center. Use it well. My heroes should have this gift as well. There we go. She did. <laughs> Nice work, team. Oh, wow, they didn't take this with only one minion left on it? Wow. That's bad. Um, guys, we should... Yeah, this is exactly what I was talking about, actually. We can use this to force boss. Exactly what I was talking about. I just didn't think about it right there. Good good job, Varian. Thank you. Correcting me. I'm coming. I'm coming. Nice work. And I think we just take the top two. Top two right here. Uh, Darnassian Archery is what I'm going with. I'm just going to stand there. I mean, you guys either help me or you don't. So far, it's no... Yep, should have had a tank up here. It's where we should have had a tank, but we didn't. Or somebody. Some we should have had somebody here helping. Me. We would have been fine then. Lunara would have probably been running away now. We're way before now, actually. But it's okay. We already have the boss. Enemy team was gonna have to go resecure that. Uh, so by the time we respawn, they'll accomplish nothing. Nothing really. 
This is effectively game if we come down here, take their fort again, and push in a camp. Uh, that'll be GG, or we can get... Um, or we can get uh, all three towers, get two shots that way, or just get a regular um, tower, you know? There we go. Ooh, watch out. Oh, crap. I didn't want to do that. We only need the one. I don't want to die. Gotta heal myself a little. And here we go. This should be the win right here. Winning shots. Oh my god. I had to let Vala die a lot in this one. I had to let her die a lot, but I kept more people alive by just letting her die a few times. Uh, Castle Wannabe. Made it up there. Um, I'm voting for Varian. He did good. I want to vote for Stitches too, but then they're... You know, whatever. Um, yeah, that's... Why? Why do you gotta be like that? You, The guy already said he wasn't happy you banned his pick and then you brag about it? You're... I'm surprised that didn't wind up into... Um, a match of salty people. I really am. 90% of the time it would have. Uh, anyway, only 56,000 healing here for me. Um, a lot of time running away. <laughs> uh, but we did get the most kills for our, between the two teams was our team. Enemy team only getting 14 kills. Both teams fairly even on levels. Uh, 19 to 18 there. Uh, let's see, top hero damage was 63k from our Vala and 60k from our Junkrat. Enemy team was 47 and 43 from Kalthos and Lunar. So we blew them away on damage. Just big time damage numbers. Um, let's see, how much did we tank? Um, just a little bit more than 110,000 total. Enemy team is what? What is that? Like a hundred? Yeah, that's about the same on tanking. Um, a little more for the enemy team because they had more deaths, but pretty close to the same. Uh, just about 20k more than us. Uh, let's see. Lucio with 78k healing. Did he have bro shield? Yeah, he had bro shield. That's why he had so much healing. So shields were taking a lot of the damage there, and we had a lot of AoE as well with the Putrid Biles and the Strafe, uh, the Rip Tire. Yeah, we had a lot of AoE going on, and then we had some pretty good single target damage as well between the Varian, myself, and Vala. Me and Varian pairing up on a lot of those kills. Uh, basically, if he bursted them, with his um, Colossus Smash, I would wait a few seconds and then attempt to apply my own armor debuff to that hero right after. That's what I was trying to do. Um, I think I made the right call with the Stun Silence and Slow removals. Uh, although Spell Armor would have been pretty nice as well against the Pyroblast. But that's, that's one thing versus many things, right? Because you got two stuns here. A stun here and some slows. Slows here. Um, and a stun on Kael'thas. So you got a lot of crowd control on that enemy team. So I think Celestial Attunement was the way to go. 
but that meant that I had to let somebody die to Pyroblast every now and then. Uh, Vala was the hero I let die the most, I think. Um, Varian died a couple times, but that was just because he was a little too far out of reach most of those times. Um, and I never let Junkrat die because he was never really in any trouble. Uh, Stitches and Varian were my priorities. They were my priorities. If I kept Stitches and Varian alive, the likelihood was they would be able to keep Vala, myself, and Junkrat alive. And I basically... Um, if I was at critical levels of health, like below... If I was below half health, I would heal myself over someone else. Is how I usually do things when I play a healer. Just because if your healer is dead, they're not healing. Um, so if I have to choose between myself and, say, Vala, I'm going to choose myself because I can keep the rest of my team alive uh, and we'll just make it work without the Vala kind of thing. Those are, those are the kind of things that I, that I do when I, when I play healers. And it seemed to work out in this one. Um, keeping Stitches alive, for the most part, seemed to be necessary. Because um, without, without, without Stitches, I don't know... Enemy team would have just walked all over us, I think. But anyway, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I do want to mention I am reactivating my World of Warcraft account. Um, I don't know how long it'll last. The last time I did it, it only lasted... I don't know, like a month, maybe? Not even? Uh, I reactivated it in Warlords of Draenor because it looked like, oh, we're going back in time to old Draenor, right? So this means we're going to see the opening of the Dark Portal and, you know, like like Warcraft 2 and Warcraft 1 kind of stuff with the, with the invasions of the Horde and the Horde, you know, setting up shop in Azeroth and all that. And we saw none of that. Instead, we got this weird-ass alternate timeline where... Orgrim Doomhammer is a glowing lava man. Like why 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 is he a glowing lava man? He wasn't he wasn't a glowing lava man. Then he refused to drink demon blood and then he became a glowing lava man. Like no, no, that doesn't no, that doesn't mesh. That doesn't no. But um that I lost focus on that um or I, I just that 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 expansion lost me, so did Miss of Pandaria. I played Pandaria for like a week, and I was like, wow, if I really wanted to play Kung Fu Panda, I'd just go buy Kung Fu Panda the video game, right? I mean, you know? So the last real expansion that I really played was Cataclysm. Um, and maybe we can go, we can talk about some of that in the videos that I'm going to make with World of Warcraft. Um, I, it's it's definitely more friendly for streaming. I just can't stream. I don't have good enough upload speeds for that, and I only have one internet service provider in my area, so I'm kind of stuck on that for now. Uh, I'm already working on recording some of that. It's probably not going to come out for a little bit, because I want to make sure I have a bunch of it recorded, because I have no idea how much of it I'm going to need to make a single episode or how much of it I'm going to cut out, or this and the other. I'm going to need to make a couple of episodes to figure that out. So, yeah, that one's gonna that one's gonna be weird. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode.